you may or may not realize this, but you're coming to Saskatchewan actually at a time of very high racial tension. Uh, the shooting death of Colton Bushy over the summer, he was an Indigenous man, sparked kind of outrage across this province, the Premier of our province calling for calm on the racial tension. What's your message to, to those who are, who are charged up? You see, the true Islam, the Holy Quran says that we have to be tolerant. There should not be religious or racial conflict. Even the Quran says that you should respect each and every person. And the, the tribes and the nations and the races are just in, for the sake of identity. This, you should not have any pride on this thing and you respect, you respect each other. This is the message in the Quran which I understand. So after having had this message, I don't think, and if true Muslims and anybody who wants to create peace in the society, if practice like this, then there should not be any such type of racial problems. You promote that message of peace uh, yes. and that message of love for everyone, right? No matter uh, your religion, your race. Yes. But there are still a lot of discrepancies between the way Muslim men and Muslim women are treated. How do you promote your religion in a country like Canada where equality is still being fought for? You see, but there is no discrimination. God says in the Holy Quran that Muslim men and women have the equal rights. Our women are more literate than our men. Not here in Canada only, but even in the third world countries. So even in my view, and the Islam says that the, the duty of a woman is to train their children, to get the education, the best education she can have, and then train the children so that they can be the good member of the society. Right? Mm -hmm. So, our women are not being deprived of their rights. And the women, Muslim women, are doctors, they are practicing doctors, they are lawyers, they are engineers, architects, scientists, and uh, all those jobs and professions which a man can have, women can have. There is no discrimination. If you say discrimination means that why do they do hijab? That is not discrimination. That is a dress code in Islam. And even men have also been asked to behave in the same way. What do you think a Donald Trump election campaign has done for the Ahmadiyya Muslims around the world? See, Donald Trump is not against Ahmadis. He is against Muslims. <laughs> whether you are Ahmadi Muslim or Sunni Muslim or Shia Muslim or whoever you are. Mm -hmm. So let us see what happens, whether if he wins, whether he implements his policies or not. The way he speaks, he speaks like insane person. <laughs> so those who agree, there's their own, their own choice. But I will not agree whatever he's saying. What do we, as Canadians, have to do to foster more inclusivity in the world? You see, what the world needs today is to stop all type of atrocities and spread the peace and love and harmony.